Many golfers use swing cameras to record swings and improve their game. The purpose of swing cameras is to replay and analyze each golf swing in slow motion to identify mistakes and opportunities for improvement. This helps easily keep footage to compare and track progress toward the ideal swing and can save thousands of dollars on in-person coaching. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the BenQ LK 936ST DLP4K laser projector and the Carl's Place swing cameras to record your swing, along with a Unicore QED launch monitor and the QED Ignite golf sim software as an example. With DLP projectors, images are displayed at specific frequencies or refresh rates, such as 30 Hz or 60 Hz. This may cause flickering effects when the image is captured by high-speed cameras, but is generally not noticed by the naked eye. You may find that under some conditions, when replaying recordings from a swing camera, background flickering is observed. Note that this will not happen if you view the projection image itself directly. Flicker doesn't affect the tracking of your movements and your club, and doesn't interfere with swing camera performance or data collection, but does cause distraction among some users. To minimize flickering, there are three key settings you should know. One, projector refresh rate. Two, camera frame rate. Three, camera exposure time. Basically, as long as you set your camera and projector to the same frequency, or multiples of the same frequency, you will have a clearer view of your swings while minimizing unwanted flicker. QED Ignite Golf Sim software does not contain a user set parameter to adjust exposure time, so we will leave it at its default value. To match the frequency of the projector and camera, for projector settings, let's go with 3840 times 2160 at 60 Hz. Next step is to place your camera. The swing camera package always comes with two cameras. Placement is really up to you, but most people like to have one over to the side and one behind them to be able to best monitor swings. Place the camera in a good position. You want it far away from you, so you're able to capture the entire range of your swing, but not so far away that you cover unnecessary space that doesn't need to be recorded. For camera settings, Open the QED Ignite Golf Simulator software. Click Settings. When you go to select a camera, you'll notice there are several different options. The first two numbers are going to be the resolution of the camera, and the last number is the frame rate of the camera. You'll see that the higher the resolution, the lower the frame rate. First, let's see what happens if we give the camera a setting of 640 times 360 at 260 FPS which means that the frequency of the projector and camera aren't set up with the same frame rate multiplier. Through the monitor, you can see a noticeable flicker. If we go with 1280 times 720 at the frame rate of 120 FPS, under this setting, you can see flickering is reduced to minimal levels. Based on our tests, when using the LK936ST DLP 4K projector with a Carl's Place swing camera, for a better experience and to minimize unwanted flickering, we suggest you use 3840 times 2160 at 60 Hz for the projector and 120 FPS for the camera. After a swing, you want to review your shot. You can see your position and where the club is while enjoying minimized flicker. You have the option of 1.0, full speed, 0.5, half speed, and 0.125, one -eighth speed for reviewing your shots. You can review them in slow motion and observe different parameters to help you correct any issues you might have with your swing. BenQ is the industry leader in golf simulator projectors, which come in a variety of different options depending on your requirements. Stay tuned for more as we continue to make golf sim projectors better.